Hi guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am unbagging my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of September 2021. Um, I feel like I got here fairly quickly this month. My I also got the regular glam bag this month and that one is like lost in Michigan somewhere. I'm not even sure, but this one came fairly quickly. I'm kind of excited about it. Okay. So this bag is totally giving me clueless vibes. One of the main reasons that I got both the plus and the regular bag. I just think that is super cute. Um, okay. If you're not familiar with Ipsy, I guess I should start there, right? If you're not familiar with Ipsy, they have three different levels of boxes. The regular glam bag that is $12, but I believe is going up to $13 starting next month. The glam bag plus, which is currently $25. I think it's going up to $27. I'm not 100% positive. And then the glam bag X, which is an add-on every three months that replaces either your regular bag or your glam bag plus. I've never gotten the X. I feel like I've already spent enough money on subscription boxes, so I just haven't ever done it. But that one's $49.95, so you would pay like the cost of your glam bag plus and then whatever else to make up to $49.95 on those every three months. So anyway, this is a little piece of paper that is basically useless in the Glam Bag Plus. They used to tell us all about the items in our bag, and now it like, this is your official fall skincare guide, if you care. Uh, about the only thing interesting on here is it tells you that the theme is work, school, life. Uh, oh, so back to work, school, or life. Um, and I guess you can scan this to get info on this month's theme, and I don't even think it tells us anything don't miss the 10 year Glamversary limited edition mystery bag and 10 days of deals on Ipsy shop coming soon, but it doesn't tell us when. And yeah, so basically useless paper that they put in the bag. So let's get in to the items inside of my bag. Okay, this is the first item. Oh, and if you're not familiar, Ipsy plus, Ipsy picks two items, you choose the other three. So this is one of the items that Ipsy chose for me and I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is the Il Maquillage Color Boss Squad Multidimensional Eye Color Quad and this is in Make Moves. Um, it looked really pretty online. We've gotten several things from Il Maquillage over the years. Um, it's very heavy, like a solid palette. And let's see if I am smart enough to open it has a big mirror there obviously and that is what the colors look like. This is a nice quad because you can do like really a complete look there. You can there's two matte-ish shades. They have a little bit of a shimmer to them and then two more shimmery shades. I feel like you could really easily do a complete eye look with this. Um, so I'm definitely going to be trying this out soon. So that was the first thing that Ipsy picked for me. And this is the second item that Ipsy picked for me. This is the Canalogica Facial Hydration Oil. It says full spec, full, I can't talk, full spectrum hemp extract containing naturally occurring CBD with green oregano oil. This is one fluid ounce. Um, I really haven't used much CBD skincare at all, but um, definitely interested in trying this out. Um, I don't know if I would have picked this on my own, but says so you massage two or three drops into freshly cleansed skin, avoid contact with eyes. Um, yeah, so I guess it's just for hydration. I can smell it through the bottle. So that's kind of interesting. It has a very like herbally smell. I guess that's probably the oregano, oregano oil. I am a little bit concerned because oregano is supposed to be a hot oil. So I don't know how this will do on skin, but clearly they must have... Uh, you know, safely figured out oregano oil. So I may do a little research on that. I didn't realize that it had oregano oil in it. I didn't pick it anyways. They picked it for me, but ooh, I've got a hair going crazy here. Um, so anyways, that is that item. So I don't remember which categories I picked which thing in. I think this was the next category, but it might not be. I don't, I feel like I'm like lately, I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Normally I am like so on top of subscription boxes, but we just started back to school with my kids. I homeschool all four of them. Although my oldest two are basically independent. They're taking college classes through our community college to get their high school diploma. Anyway, so 
I, all that to say, I am not on top of my subscription boxes like I normally am because we're in like, this is the second week of homeschool for us. So everything's kind of chaos and a blur. Uh, but this is the 8th, wow, 8th, yes, East 29th um, Serum. It, what is the, even the name of this? Hyaluronic Acid Niacinamide Lemon Rind, Lemon Rind Extract and Vitamin C and E. I feel like it had a different name. Vital Serum, maybe? That's what it says up there. I don't know. Another skincare item. I know everything in this category was, like, not overly exciting, so... I did choose this. It's probably kind of silly to get two serum type items in my ba bag, but I don't remember what else was in the category, but this was the best that I, you know, had to choose from. I wasn't overly like excited about my choices, so whatever. Okay, and then this is the Vegan by Happy Skin Original Skin Essence Toner. So this is a, a toner, basically. Um, it's pretty small. I didn't realize it was that small, like it's the same size as like a one ounce dropper of serum. Um, does it say the size here? I'm not seeing, oh, this says it's 3.38 ounces. So I love trying new toners. It's something that I hate to buy. So if I can get it in a subscription box, that is awesome. So I'll definitely be trying that out. And one last item in my bag is the Dragon Beauty Dragon Glass Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Bad Bitch. And this is, um, I've never tried any of the liquid lipsticks from Dragon Beauty, but it just looked really pretty. Um, it's a lot paler than I was picturing. I thought that it was darker than that when I chose it, but the packaging is pretty cool too though. But I've heard that this is really great long lasting and so it's been a while since I've gotten, gotten a lipstick from Ipsy, so I just decided to go with that. So that is my Ipsy bag. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that with the price increase that Ipsy is still worth it? I don't know if I can carry all, or lift all five of these items, like, there we go. Um, I mean, these five items for $25, after taxes for me it's $27, uh, but being able to choose three of them, it's always seemed worth it, but then, I don't know, like having them raise the price a couple more dollars when I'm already most months like not in love with the items in my bag, I'm normally like, oh, I'll use that. But then it goes into my box of like, oh, I'll use that later. And I've got a lot of I'll use that laters. So what do you guys think? Are you sticking with Ipsy through the price increase or are you guys taking a break? I mean, I like that you can pause with your Ipsy, but the thing that's annoying is you can't pause uh, your Ipsy after you've seen had your choice. So like Glam Bag Plus, you have to decide if you're going to pause or get it before you know what's in choice. Whereas the regular bag, I don't know why that's still in my hand. With the regular bag, you make your choice like around the 22nd or 23rd of the month and then you have to pause before the end of the month. So you know if you like the bag. This one, it's like you have to take a gamble based on spoilers if you're gonna like it. So that's a little bit annoying also. But anyways, I'm rambling. That is my Glam Bag Plus bag for the month of September 2021. Let me know what you think. What did you think of my bag? What did you get in your bag? Yeah, just let me know down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would take just a second and do so. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.